So whenever you compile a design, you get these kind of errors there, which is very ugly and actually gives you no much information whatsoever. So I will show you how to how to fix that. So after you compile, you have to go to timing analysis and timing analyzer. And this page opens. Here uh, you, we have to, I don't know, let's see. Read SDC file, probably that's one. And we have to first create a clock. So I will create like my clock. My clock. So here you uh, teach what is the clock you are using. So I will use 50 megahertz clock. And for 50 megahertz clock, um, this is the uh, waveform, so 20 nanoseconds is the period of the clock and here you specify what is the clock signal that is of this speed. So here it's just the name, so it doesn't know what is the actual frequency of the clock, so I'm that's the reason I'm specifying it here. So I do this first, then I have to do following. For every input, I have to specify the delay. On and on which clock they are uh, you used. So here I have to list all the inputs right now. So let's list all, all of them. The keys are inputs, and then switches are inputs. That's pretty much it. And I have to specify with the delay value. So delay value is like these inputs are coming from somewhere else. Right, so for for instance, some from some another chip, and another chip outputs those values and sends us as an input on certain clock. So after another chip's clock, how many nanoseconds um, does it take to arrive to our chip? So that's the value we have to write there. But for for me, if it's just a switch and button, I will just write. 0.1 nanosecond because I don't have a clock, I don't have another chip at all. So I press run. Next, I have to do the similar thing on our, on our outputs. So again, on this clock, I list down and I've select my outputs. So LEDs are my outputs. LED 0 to 7, and I specify the delay, and then I press OK. After that, I save it and um, I say write SDC file and let's call this um, timing SDC and press OK. After that, I close this extra, I mean, third party or whatever party software and I click edit settings and I specify the path of this file I just created and which I don't remember where is it maybe here no let's see let's let's open it again because I totally forgot maybe I can open it from here uh, let's see so write STC file so it actually created here so it should be available oh I forgot the file extension so that's the reason I'm not able to see it so I let's go there again here and let's list all files so I can't do that so I'll go directly there so timing SDC dot SDC now I should be able to VF this. So that's it. I select it, then press OK, then recompile, and wait for a minute, and it will give us a correct timing analysis. If there is still some errors, that's probably because the design that you designed are is not able to um, run as fast as 50 megahertz clock needs. So that's that's all about it so after the compilation we don't have this red um, things there so 
we have defined clock that has period of uh, period of 20 uh, nanoseconds and on slow 85 Celsius model this is the clock frequency that can be applied to the circuit and that is 60 so it's cool on here it's 65 on here it's I don't know okay this is something else well, this is set up and hold summary for flip-flops but yeah we, we got this uh, f maximum frequencies that can be applied to our circuit and that's pretty much what we wanted and also this red uh, markings are done from timing analysis and this is more correct timing analysis and by the way before in fmax in clocks there was not specified the frequency it was i don't know the maximum available frequency and it was definitely violating the timings based on that fast frequency so now this is the correct one thank you